Good day, everyone, and today you're welcome to the Cetro Vlog family. I'm Jacquette Toluani Cetro. And in case this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I want to say a big thank you to all our supporters, our patrons, those that have been liking and sharing. Please don't forget to do that if you've not done that. And what are we going to be doing today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, I want to bring you uh, the recent updates on some of the youth that Cetrus Foundation has been empowering. I know you know some of them, but we have some that are new. We have the old ones, and it's good you know how they are faring. And the number one person on the list is no other person than Elijah Alice. Yeah, Elijah Alice. She's just a village girl indeed. It's not that she went to school. She didn't really go to school. She stopped in GSS2, like you do call from two. And she got married and she and her husband were privileged to be in a village that is not even theirs. And she said she saw children going to school without bags. They were carrying their books in nylon bags. So she felt, I didn't go to school, but I don't want to see these children going to school without having proper bags to carry their books to school. I want them to learn. And do you know what? She just took up. She had a sewing machine and she had some crafts uh, and material. She just started making bags. Self-taught. She just got out to Cetros Foundation last year where we're doing our christmas uh, chicken distribution she said our children were asking mommy are we not going to eat chicken so she reached out to us in central foundation and said no, so sorry for now we're covering lagos we can't cover your state and those state for now we just started as a foundation she, so she said she told our children there is no chicken no we are just waiting my husband just said would you like to learn what are you doing she said i'm learning bags i want to learn bags because she started doing the bags self-taught she started doing the bags herself so she said i want to go learn it in a nearby village but we now did the course thing for her to be going to learn every day to be very expensive so she said i can update myself online i can learn online so how do you go about this she doesn't have a phone so we did what Cetrus foundation got her a phone that was the first thing and she started making she started learning online their village there is no light there is nothing so she started learning, they would charge the phone from the nearby village. She would learn and she started improving. And some persons got interested in her. We got a uh, central foundation, got a machine that can now do complex uh, bags. So she started making more bags. And people have started ordering for our bags outside the country. Even central foundation has ordered for more of our bags. We want to really encourage her to be producing in mass. As part of the initiative of Cetros Foundation of Empowering the African Youth, we are going to be paying Elijah Alice to make free bags for the very poor students in that village school. And we are going to be showing you an update on this. With this, we are still going to get to know those youths and get to know the crafts they can be involved in so that they can also make the world a better place for others, just as she has decided to do. And I want to feel this is so great, so great. So I want to believe you're going to be patronizing her. We've sent some of our bags outside the country. We'll be sending some to the city center and so many other places. So please try to patronize. You'll be seeing some of these products on Etsy and other platforms very soon. Catch you. So the next person is Wu Genge. Everybody say Genge. You know, we are on the project Search to Build. That's AYD, African Youth Development Strategy Scheme of the Cetrus Foundation. We have a project right now that is ongoing. It's called Search to Build. Project Search to Build, whereby we go to various villages in Africa, in Nigeria, all over Africa, and we search for the poor youth that don't even have phones to do videos to send to us to help them. We go to their base and we start to help them. So in one of such adventures, you'll be seeing the full clips of the videos later. We went to a village in Badagri. Badagri is a local government in Lagos state. So uh, and getting there, we got to see a lady, a girl, not a lady right now. She's a girl that needs real help. She has lost her dad and she has lost her mom. But right now, the girl is in secondary school and yet she's now learning fashion and she's trying at it she what you are you will you be seeing her uh displayed with she was the person that made it so we said wow you made this there are still some corrections 
to your finishing this, that. But for doing this, Cetro's Foundation is taking you up. You don't have a father, you don't have a mother, and you go into school and you are still learning this and making this. So, Cetro's Foundation decided to do our gang 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 because of all you are supporters that have been supporting us. So, we decided to get our, our sewing machine immediately. And guess what? That was awesome because she's been empowered. There are so many other youths in that region, in that village in Badagri, Lagos State, Nigeria, Africa, the globe. But you'll be getting to see their full video of all our adventures in Badagri later on. So her whole name is Omolade Cecilia. And we're so happy to be of help to an orphan. There's nothing that is so joyful as that. And you see her on a machine, you still be seeing great things in her. You are going to be seeing some of their products on Etsy and all the like. So watch out and be part of people that will encourage these African youth. The number third person is no other person than Dokas. Dokas, the smallest of all. Dokas is just like 12 to 13 years of age. She's also maybe in GSS one or thereabouts, or maybe primary six. And she's doing great. She's been enrolled in makeup and artistry and uh air styling air dressing and when when we had our first quarter meeting of the african youth development strategy scheme March this year she did wonders you can see her output she did the makeup for someone one of the beneficiary and it was awesome so she's doing great what we're waiting for is our physical location physical location for the ayds uh project that's where we'll have all these youth come together we'll be able to employ her train her more and they really get to start making money and start trending for themselves and be great in life so with that i want to believe you know more about dockers and we move to the fourth person the fourth person it's no other person than mayoko mayoko is the first person mayoko is a fast learner of a lady who just picked her up she was into teaching and she said my passion is to learn fashion and we just it was just like play life play before you know it she just started we paid for her and see what she's doing this was her before and these are after Mayako is doing great and she's one of the people that will be producing and you'll be seen on st just and all on so many other platforms that will be sending out the products of this african youth course from africa and ngo from abroad that is helping us you'll be seeing their works very very soon and you're going to patronize them. Number five, who is the fifth person? This one is a word, is a diversion from the craft, from the dish. Guess who? I know you should know. Is Nurse, Nurse Enne. Yes, say her name again, Nurse Enne. Uh, nurse Enne is an African youth that just reached out to us. She got admission into School of Nursing and there was no way and the foundation decided to help her with some fun. And the dreadful thing is that you see her in her nursing regalia right now, just like a week or thereabouts right now, she passed her PTS exams, which is one of the major exams in nursing school, and she's already growing on the ladder. And you know what the joy that this gives us is that we're already building our medical theme, paramedical theme for the AYDS use such that by the time we have our physical location, we have our nurses, we have our metros, we have our doctor, just like that. So it's a good one. So we are so, so happy for nurse, nurse, and nurse, she's doing great. And she's part of this. Yes, kudos. Yeah, right now we we'll move to number six. And number six is Wu Jamilia. Jamila is a unique person to me because she is the first Northern beneficiary AYDS will be having uh, we've had uh, youth from the western, eastern part, and we're not balancing this. We have someone from the northern part of Nigeria, and she's so articulate. She's an undergraduate. She's from Castina State. She's sent in her video the right way. Now she's growing on the job. She says she wants to learn fashion. You, please watch our video. It's in the link. It will be in the link uh, uh, below. She just reached out to us. She said, I'm an undergraduate. I'm sustaining myself by selling boxers in school. I want to learn fashion designing. I believe by this, I'll be able to empower other youths. And we really need models for youths in that region. I'm so happy Jamila is doing great. She just started. Look at what she's doing right now. And she's really, really progressing. Watch how to patronize Jamila, our first modern 
beneficiary that is doing great and jamilia in case you're watching this video uh a very good news to you you're gonna get your machine from Cetrus foundation soonest because you're performing catch you that's it gang 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 the seventh person is yoko yoko this is the man i missed them and we have been saying women we, we. <laughs> this is the man i miss them you're hearing of this is a pathetic story but a story of courage and hope all together this is a graduate is working daytime and nighttime is working as a security guard and we got to know about this we said you don't need that nighttime job do something learn a craft you're already working during the day uh, just in some of these stores not really what you read in school and you're still working at night which is very dicey so why not just learn a craft said i want to learn fashion male fashion guess what john yoko is doing excellently well look at the trousers he's, he's constructing cetros foundation came into it and cetros uh, you know we have cetros foundation then we have cetro fashion that's from cetro Mr. Cetro and Jacket Lwani Cetro, we, we run a fashion school. You can check out www.cetrofashionschool.com. We have students in different countries. So in case you're interested, let me market myself to, yes, patronize me. In case you're interested, you want to learn fashion right from the comfort of your home, just contact us on the WhatsApp numbers showing below. We we'll teach you it's, a, it's as easy as A and B and C. That's our slogan at Cetro Fashion School. So... Do you know what? We gave uh, John Uyoko our online fashion course, male fashion course of three months, which goes for 50,000 Naira. And look at what he's doing with it. He's learning right from the comfort of his home and he's doing great. And Cetros Foundation also bought him a machine and he didn't take it for granted. He's doing great. And we're so proud of him. Very soon, you'll be buying all their products Cops from Africa will be helping us, Etsy, on all platforms. You'll be patronizing this youth. Gen -gen, that's a story of hope. A life I've been saved from weeks of working at night and he has a future. He can employ other youths that, that would have gone out of the continent. Yes, it's really, Cetrus Foundation is really transforming the life of the African youth. Number, tell me the number. Number eight. Number eight is who? Chef Shioma. Yes. Chef Chioma. You know one thing about this AYDS stuff is it's all encompassing. African youth development strategy. We're building the African youths all around, all over the continents. We're not leaving out any segments of the economy. We're having caterers, we are having uh, medical uh, people right now. We are having what is it called? seamstress we are having tilers we are having barbers we are having carpenters we are having different youths from different work categories which is going to really help the african eco uh, uh, economy yes to move forward very well so chef chioma we just did an update about her of recent maybe you know her story she lost her husband was left with a baby and the husband's family threw her out. The friends of the husband, later husband wanted to take advantage of her. But Cetrus Foundation came in. She was selling perfumes. She still sells perfume. And she said, "What?" we said, what do you like to learn? She said, ah, catering. So we got her enrolled. And right now she's really saving for her oven. And we're just having surprise. And she's going to have surprise parties. So let's just keep that to ourselves. So she's doing great. And we've even gotten... Uh, a place to do a uh, internship in a very good hospitality company and she's really doing great she's doing great she's doing great so you you've just got to patronize her during our last quarter program she was part of those that prepared the meals and the meals were awesome she prepares different uh, uh what's it called pastries and all the likes yes you have to patronize her by the time we have our physical location you're going to see all this People displaying their works. You see the caterers at one side. You see the makeup artists. You see the fashion designers. You see the hair stylists. They need more than just the training of what they've gone for. We've discovered they need real mentorship in terms of good interpersonal skills, customer service skills, integrity, cultural respect, honor, and so many other things that are not just embedded in the crafts various crafts they have learned that are the real main tools of success because for anyone to succeed in this economy in which we are in right now in this world 
you need real good interpersonal skills you need good customer service skills you need integrity you need to have cultural respect and you need to know how to honor people and so many other things values that we know that we have to inculcate into them when they are under our watch that will move the foundation forward and as such is moving the whole of africa forward because when we went out of africa the other time to dubai uh, we saw these in place and that was what is helping their economy the people that were even selling ordinary cashew nuts they they could relate very well they had good customer relative abilities interpersonal relative skills they were so nice they honored us and we thought of going back again but in most of the places in africa these children they've been taught the wrong way so we have to change their 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 thinking and we have to really mentor them the right way so that's why we need them all to be under a place under a roof under a physical location so please you are not left out please support us in this drive as we're working towards getting a physical structure for our foundation a hub whereby all these youths will be housed and they will be doing their works and they will be under real monitoring and real mentorship please nothing is too small nothing is too great and just sharing this video is part of the support you could just like and share this video you're supporting us and with whatever you want to support us our paypal uh our paypal is showing on the screen you can support us on our paypal or you can reach us on our whatsapp line we should tell you any other means through which you want to support us you're highly welcome and talking about we having a physical location whereby we monitor this youth very well this is taking me to number nine you can see i'm not saying number nine in an exciting way ask me why why is why because number nine is no other person than esther some months back we told you the story of esther esther lost her mom her dad she's the first in the family to take care of her younger ones and we came into the scene we said she said she wanted to learn she was an undergraduate she wanted to learn fashion so Cetrus foundation picked up on our case and we enrolled her but it's a pity today we've been trying to follow up on her she's not giving us favorable response and the most painful thing is that our trainer is also supporting her and that's where it comes to the place that by the time we have our physical location we have our trainers we we train for fashion we have trainers for other things as well that will be training there will be no uh conniving together between the trainee and the trainer to deceive the foundation which is what most is happening in most places some persons will just say they are doing something they are being trained they are doing it, but they will not do it and as such they are decreasing the worth of the economy because you're not really doing what you say you're doing and you'll not be able to produce what will push the economy forward so it's it's it, we just have to say it this way because we've had people some of our sponsors are were interested in her they even want to buy her machine and all the likes but we said no we don't do like that in this foundation we have to see proofs that she's ready we have to see our work we have to see evidences that she's improving that she's really interested because people are so many that needs to be helped we don't have to give it to the wrong people and i really want to see that those are our sponsors this really gets to them that's what is happening she has decided not to give us reports and she has this she's just giving things that we can come to say on the international uh platform and an international platform so we just decided to say our case this way i want to say that by the time we have our physical location this cannot be i think the only person giving us challenge for now is this esther and the first girl which is rebecca out of about 40 persons that have been helped so you can see there will always be some defaulters and we have to be sincere to you and give you all the reports is but gang 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 i want to go away from the report that is not making me happy so today i want to hand on this note we still have so many other uh updates on so many of them that we still be bringing to you you know we've just empowered some in abelkuta some in badagri some <laughs> in fact there are some hot hot cases that you have to hear just watch out for those videos very soon hot cases i don't want to let the cat out of the bag because i know so because of something hot cases that when you hear tears will be coming out of your eyes but you are going to hear them very soon on um, this edition of our 
updates on the African youths that we are empowering, that Cetrus Foundation is empowering. The last but not the least for today is who? Michael Bimo. <laughs> so Michael, we're so happy to tell you today that Michael is now true with his three months course at uh, Studio 24 that we have to pay huge for him to do that training as a photographer. And the joy is that it's still about this our physical location. When we had our, uh, what's it called? A match edition of a uh, training for them physically. Michael, our trainee was the of our beneficiary was the official photographer for that day. And you see the pictures, and is and we're picking him up for videography. Cetros Foundation or the Cetros, we already train in videography, but it's something maybe online. Mr. Cetro can train him, but we need a physical location, so we are not leaving him. He's doing his project right now. He's just a young boy. He's just out of maybe like 17 years. He's, he, he, if you want to watch his story, his video link will be here. He, he doesn't have help, nobody to help them. He's just their mom. And I'm so happy that we met him on the street, picked him up, and his life is better off now. He, says, he, said, he sent us a message as I'm talking, I'm crying in my heart. He said that I'm so happy that you, I, I think we should put that message he sent in the video. I'm happy that you, Central Foundation is helping me to fulfill my dream of becoming a photographer. Please be part of those that will help in, in actualizing the dreams of these youth so that they don't end up in the hands of people that will treat them as hooligans. We are using this medium to say we bless God for everyone that has been part of this platform. Your one dollar, your one cent, you're sharing the video, you're watching the video, you're liking the video. The proof of all this that these youths are saying, I'm so grateful. My, one of them also sent us one interesting message. Is in my office. She said, when we had uh, the training for them, she said, I'm so charged. Mm -hmm. There have been no phone that you're changing. Am I, I think you have to look for that message and also put it so that people read it. It's what these youths are saying. And it's all because of you and how you decided to help. If you've not started doing it, this is what life is all about. Making sure that you help the next person to you while you're still living. Most of them don't have parents. Most of them, they are orphans. Most of them, their parents cannot afford their training. Why not just be the shoulder on which they can climb to go to the next level and you will forever be blessed for it. So, and that's it today. I remain your cat in the central. Whatever you want to know about this youth, feel free to reach out to us. Reach out to us on our WhatsApp line. Help us through our PayPal account. Reach us anyhow you want to reach us and we really appreciate you don't forget the joy therapy whatever you're going through in life make sure you're joyful because that's your strength it keeps you going and you might be looking for mr Cetro. he's the cameraman today he's behind the camera i said i should just do this you can see i'm sweating it has not been easy but i'm so happy this is the end of this episode catch you bye bye you may like to watch this video of this